Veganism. <sighs> I have two problems with veganism. First problem, it's not a very diverse diet. Seems kind of boring. I've practiced it here and there, but I always crave meat. I can't avoid it. I need some cow. I need some chicken. I need some horse. Well, maybe not some horse. I don't know. <laughs> I'd eat it. I'd try it. Um, and it seems very expensive. I once filled up my entire freezer with steak and bought a whole bunch of vegetables for about a hundred and something. I think that veganism would be a lot more expensive. You'd have to go to the grocery store a lot more. Living in the city and being a vegan, eh, you have to live really close to a supermarket. I live within walking distance of one. Isn't me living within walking distance of a grocery store making up for the fact that I'm not a vegan? Greta's a vegan. I don't know how she is a vegan. It doesn't seem very exciting. Uh, Henry Rollins is a pescatarian. He only eats fish or products from the sea when he eats meat. Bill Maher's a vegan. See, these are people that I admire, but I'm not a vegan. I'm not a vegetarian. I occasionally am. There are months where I'll go like two-thirds of the time where I am because I'm eating a lot of beans and cheese. Or just a lot of like salsa and cheese and beans and tortillas. And beans and tortillas and cheese. So, I start craving spaghetti. So I start getting hamburger and cooking it into the spaghetti. Put a lot of Parmesan cheese on it. You get a lot of veggies from the sauce, of course. You may not like that. I think that's good. <laughs> uh, that's all the food groups. I can eat that every day. Um, spaghetti is really the perfect food. But I started buying sausages, so I've really liked that. Occasionally buy a steak. Usually now, I found a grocery store that was closer than Winco and it was about the same price. So I started going there and buying some grapes, stuff like that. I think I'm going to have a burrito later. I haven't had a burrito in like two weeks. I need a burrito, you know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe even two. 16 bucks left. They're about between seven and ten if I get a soda. It's like, I think three kinds that I really get. I'm not really into chicken. I like beef. When I'm not having meat for a long time, I like beef. I've been eating a lot of meat. I've been eating a lot of salad. I actually feel like I've been eating pretty well. And I think I'm losing more weight again. It feels like my blood sugar is going down because I'm not really exhibiting signs. I'm walking every day. They want me to get the insulin, so I'll probably get the insulin. I actually haven't taken the insulin in a year. And in the past nine months, my hemoglobin A1C has gone from 8 to 14. So I might try to finagle my way out of taking the insulin. I'm going to talk to the doctor about that. I'm like, is there any way that I can get off insulin dependence? Because I've been doing good. I've been walking, eating a balanced diet. It's not the most exciting thing all the time, but it's balanced. 
So I think those are really the only two cues to being healthy. Get some exercise, eat right, bada bing bada boom. And that's pretty much all I do, or I play on the computer. I do these videos you guys hate. I just don't get why you hate me. I really don't understand that. Like, I don't understand why you would watch me if you hate me. Does it make your head hurt? I know when I read you guys, it makes my head hurt. Because it's just so rude and pedantic. You have this shrill, condescending voice. Like any man would ever love you. Or you psychoanalyze me. Like you never psychoanalyze yourself. You call me a narcissist, even though you don't point out anything about yourself that's wrong. Why are you a bitch, dude? Psychology is not a real science. Cosmology and quantum physics have been on the scene less than psychology. And cosmology and quantum physics use instruments outside the brain. You see, the brain can confer cognitive bias, cognitive dissonance. We get screwed up with uh, signals all the time, optical illusions. The brain is a flawed thing. You need an instrument outside of it to make an objective analysis. The way that you would make an objective analysis to see if somebody had a mental illness is to measure the length of their telomeres in the hippocampus. That is the key to finding out if somebody has a mental illness. Oh, excuse me. Maybe I don't have bipolar. I'm expressing empathy. You guys don't know what's going on. I'm going to try and prove something to the homeless this week. Yikes. And I'm going to prove it to all you guys. So you're going to be asleep. And then I'm going to give them a food item. And then I'm going to come back. I want to see how this plays out. Veganism. So you're drinking a lot of alcohol, smoking a lot of cigarettes, and eating a lot of vegetables. Does it really seem like a healthy diet to me? Like big time partying it up because you're vegans, you think you're better than everybody else. Well, fine, good. We don't really travel in the same circles. I don't think it's a very healthy lifestyle. Steve Jobs died, and he was a vegan, and he got cancer. He died pretty young. He was in his, what, 50s or 60s? Not very old. Hippopotami are vegan, but there's been evidence that all primate species, including chimpanzees and bonobos, eat meat, and those are the closest related primates to the human being. <laughs>